guys, what's up? Welcome back. You notice I'm wearing the same shirt? It's because I'm videoing with the same shirt on. Not for the past couple days, but I try to video everything all in one day if I can. So, what I'm going to get to today is I have two plants here that I want to actually showcase. Not showcase, but just introduce. Um, I'm trying to get into these now. These are Hoyas. Uh, I've seen Brad from Brad's Greenhouse uh, grow these. And it's they're beautiful plants. Um, they're quite easy to grow, even though I'm sure pulling off tips of the vines. Um, just to make it real quick, they prefer, these are, they all come in all, I think over a hundred different types. The two that I have right now, this one here is Hoya Carnosa Compacta. As you can see, it's got these really crinkly leaves. Um, it's also called the Hindu Rope Plant. Uh, picked it up from my local box store, about 10 bucks. They have beautiful flowers. I mean, they, they almost look like they're carved out of porcelain or wax. Um, they, I think they would make a great addition to any orchid uh, growing space you have in a house or any tropical growing space just because of the sheer ease of growth and the beauty of their flowers. The way you grow these guys is bright light, so that means not direct blast light like you would give a cactus or a hibiscus or something that would require direct sun. You would just give it medium to bright light. It means bright indirect light, no direct sunshine. Uh, you water them when they dry out and you fertilize them pretty much just like you would regularly during the growing season, which is every season but late fall and winter. Um, once it turns in spring and they start putting on some growth and you see leaf growth, then you can start uh, fertilizing them. Well, I can talk. This one is called Hoya Carnosa Rubra, uh, Crimson Queen. This one I thought was a variegata, but a friend of mine named Eugene Skoradinsky uh, from Facebook, he uh, messaged me and said that this has actually been is it mislabeled by the company that sends the, the big box store, the Hoyas. So this is a uh, rubra. Um, it will put out um, another cluster of these big porcelain carved up flowers, but you look at the variegated leaves and you look at the difference between the two, you would never know they were the same in the same family. One has willow-shaped leaves and is variegated, this one has very weird leaves. They are very waxy to the touch. They're very thick, waxy leaves, but real easy to care for. I just have them hanging out here under the, under my little awning, and they grow perfectly fine out here. And hopefully I will have flowers this year. So open for that. So if you guys are interested in growing something along your um, orchids, I suggest give Hoyas a try. Um, they seem very easy to grow and uh, very rewarding in the long run. All right, guys, you take it easy now.